Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the South Carolina Gamecocks. Number three is the major contributor whose number will be called upon a lot in this game. Hey, Brad, this guy can virtually take control of the game at both ends. He can shoot it in your face, and he can come up with a stop on a defensive end. The Gamecocks will have a daunting task trying to contain him, Dick. The Gamecocks are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. Second of all, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams looking to get things going here. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. The shooting guard takes the feed, gets it to fall. They work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Defense giving some room. He hits it. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Now trying to feed the low block for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more oh, man. That's essential when you well, play on there and you're fronting. Throws it up from downtown. Sinks it. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Down inside. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Great anticipation defensively. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Turns it over. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up. The frustration right there. The point guard gets the ball. Up and inside. He looks at the hoop. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Trying to feed the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
They go into the low block. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He gets that one to fall. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Number three is fired up right now emotional. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Gave it up. The shooting guard with the ball. The Gamecocks have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Both teams looking to get things going here. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from right of the circle, knocks it down. Point guard takes the pass. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And the ball goes out of bounds. They're working around the perimeter. On the outside, the point guard gets the gets a hand in the way. The ball goes out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He shoots from the elbow. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. stance in the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. And momentary look from three-point land. Double team now, that angle. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, perfectly executed. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Aaron. 
That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first in the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Turnaround jumper. And he missed. Spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Inside. The kick out. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Steals a pass. Number 21 draws the personal. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Number 21 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Got it from the free throw line. Whoa, screener caught one of the chops off the pick. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. And one too many dribbles and a steal with a long bomb for the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Intercepts it, pushes it up. Puts up the tray. South Carolina are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Trying to pack it inside. Leans in. Buried it. Gave it up, picked off. They're working around the arc. Picks off the lazy pass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter for two, and in and out. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. They work the perimeter, picks off the pass. There should be an easy bucket here. Tries for two.
Intercepted. We're going to move it around the perimeter. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Takes away the pass. From way outside. The shot won't fall. South Carolina are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Problem with that when you front and you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see wall man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. They work it around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Jumps in, tickles a twine. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. Side. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. He wants a three. Makes it. I have to see that one again. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the free throw line. He makes the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Perfectly executed. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. High post flasher is open. He fakes the shot. 
He attempts the trifecta. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Number 21, pump fakes. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Jumped in front to take it away. Number 23 makes a great move to draw the foul. Check that out. He's coming up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Number 23 goes to the line for the first time. Routine. off. He takes the rebound. Gave it up for the bucket. In and out. For two. Sinks the shot. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. From right of the circle. He buries the tray. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Great play to take that to the basket. Left of the circle. Big time shot right there. I'll tell you, big time look. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. And they come with a double team to stop it. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. You betcha. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Drains the shot. Dribble gives it up. There's the trap. At the end of the first half, the Razorbacks are behind by seven. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? My L.A. Brad has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. South Carolina found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. 
You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. The fake. Fake. Too much. That's a foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you what, though. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Applying pressure. Tries to get the D to bite. Let's it fly. Goes in. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. They work it around the perimeter. Nice fake. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. <laughs> tries for two. Perfectly executed. Watch your head, young fella. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lead, anticipating really well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gets it to go. And now they'll bring it up. He shoots from long range. Drains it. Steals a pass. The pass is ripped away. He broke out just in time. Look at that spacing. On the inside. Buried it. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Pick up the defense. Makes the block. Buried it. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Great play to take that to the basket. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Perfectly executed. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Looking for a good shot. 
He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Unloads a three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Well, four, two. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Stolen away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He intercepts it. Now they work it around the perimeter. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. With the fake, looking to move it around the perimeter. Drives one from three-point land. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Let's it fly. They work it around the perimeter. And we've got a whistle and a foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. Makes it. Stolen away. They run it up for the bucket. The land. The Gamecocks are up by 12. For two, Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here's another look, Dick. On the 
outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Nice shot. The Razorbacks trail by 13. Puts it up looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. For two. Got it. The Gamecocks are ahead by 13. Takes the pass in the paint. Good fake. Fakes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. He attempts the three, way off target. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The kick out. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. Those count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. For the bucket. And he missed. Jumps into the defender. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's a double team. Off the rim and no good. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. the screen for that sweet jumper. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's crazy in here, Brad. The offense sets up from the sideline.
lets it go. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to be down with ease, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Dumas. Pound. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. That's an eight zip run. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He tries the three. Ain't no stopping him right now from the Arctic. You better believe it, baby. They're making him pay from out there. You think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. That's a 13-zip run. Dumps it in. And he'll kick it back outside. The shooting guard handles the feed. Steals the pass. He shoots from the angle. He knocks down another bucket. Dip. This kid's got skills, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. From right of the circle. That was nice. He looks for three. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, passing the block. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. The small forward takes the feed. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. The power forward handles the pass. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. the outside for the bucket drops the bucket despite the harm no, 
The center receives the ball. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Arkansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. The Gamecocks will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. For the deuce. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Right now, his team in front by two. The Gamecocks are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Number three draws the personal. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. First one is good. Hits his second. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Intercepted. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Takes it off him. Here they go into the break. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Two-point game. Jumped in front to take it away. There's a double team waiting there. Robs him of the ball. They run it up into transition. Looking for the foul. Finger roll. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. And 
the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital land. The small forward gets the ball. He strips him clean. Now they work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With such a well-played game, it's only fitting the score is all knotted up and that these teams are going into overtime. Overtime. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. At this point in the game, block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. The power forward takes the pass. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Tries for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He pump fakes. McKinney receives the pass. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Moving it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, he gets another shot off and in. And this show's about to start, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. It's the replay, please. charge and even he has to smile about this one i tell you, you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time get him an oscar that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the d i love it How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and inside presence will separate your team from others. The small forward gets the pass. He goes for the trifecta. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling all cylinders right now. Sets the screen for his teammate. Number three is charged with the foul. First personal foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that.
Misses the second. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He gets the shot to fall. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He lets it go. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Up and inside. Takes away the pass. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. High post screen, so effective that screen. He shoots from the top of the key, gets it to fall. Picks off the lazy pass. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Kicking back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. That's basic. Great defense. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. There they come with a double team to stop it. Run them right at the screen again. What did I say? Perfectly executed. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Dick, this is one ball club that never says die. Hey, plays like that here at the end of games like this can really make the difference, Brad. With the free one. He can't buy one. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Nick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. 
He's auditioning for the halftime show with that shot. Better fall quick. South Carolina narrowly escapes with a win as they take it in overtime. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler.